This is New Delhi just weeks before coronavirus paralyzed the world. I was there in February to report on a problem that's more enduring and can be just as deadly. It's a lack of access to toilets. I went to India to learn about this issue, which is now even more difficult during the pandemic, and see how technology can help fix it. government toilets here. They're basically latrines that most of them are just overflowing with shit. They're completely unusable. Uh, so I'm going to open up another one. It smells. Uh, and yeah, this is basically like they have toilets here, but nobody can really use them. Yeah, so here's another one. This is the fourth one in a row. One in four people in India, over 344 million in all, don't have regular access to toilets, which results in over 100,000 deaths every year. While tons of work has been done to lower this number, India remains the world leader by far in open defecation. This is a small encampment of tents in Faridabad, south of New Delhi, where a group of a few dozen nomadic Banjara people live outdoors. Many are women and children. The space is a small example of a much bigger problem across India. This is Mayank Mita. He's an entrepreneur from Faridabad who started a company called Garv Toilets, a smart sanitation firm that builds bathrooms infused with tech and durable materials to make them safer and last longer. The issue in the developing economies, uh, most of the developing economies, you would see that the toilets, the sanitation facilities do get made, but the government also funds the projects. But what happens is, after months, uh, most of these toilet facilities end up being dysfunctional. And that is largely because of the fact that these toilet facilities get vandalized easily because these are in the public space and uh, community spaces and uh, the fact that they do not get maintained regularly. But this isn't just a problem for tent encampments and slums. People in major cities and huge swaths of rural areas face similar issues, especially women and children. A lot of girls drop out of the school uh, during adolescent period because uh, during menstruation they find it really difficult to find clean toilets. So either they miss the school during those days or they completely drop out of the school. Also, because of lack of sanitation facilities, women have to wait for the dark hours, which leads to harassment and uh, they face a lot, lot of issues, uh, safety-related issues too. Open defecation also exposes people to viruses and bacteria, including cholera, typhoid, and polio. There's a clear recognition of this problem and a huge national effort to fix it. The Swatch Bharat, or Clean India Mission started in 2014 to build toilets across India and has so far installed over a hundred million of them. This work has sparked a lot of new innovations, including a new feature on Google Maps that lets people find public toilets near them. Seeing an opportunity to join this effort, Mayank left a stable job at Tata Consultancy, one of the biggest IT firms in India, to go into the less acclaimed world of sanitation. Noticing that public toilets often fall into disrepair, he used his background in metalwork to create more robust toilets using steel. The more expensive models include automated flushing and floor cleaning, as well as sensors in each stall and sink that use SIM cards to relay valuable hygiene information to local officials. Some models also include solar panels for the lights and biodigesters to convert waste into fertilizer. We also integrated the toilet system with IoT infrastructure where uh, we are able to track it in real time how the toilets are being made, uh, how the toilets are being used, plus uh, whether they are being maintained or not. 
in real time we get to know if there are any malfunctions. Moreover, we are also able to track the user hygiene aspects uh, where uh, we get to know how many people have used the toilets, what percentage of them have uh, washed their hands or whether they are flushing the toilets or not, what amount of water is being used. So these are the things that we basically track in real time and it helps us build a strong connection with the community as well. If we are doing community mobilization activities, we know what is the real problem of the community. If it is hand washing, we work with them very specifically towards hand washing. Here's where Garve builds its toilets. It's a simple place with a dirt floor, but they've manufactured more than a thousand toilets here that are already being used in schools, rural villages, and public spaces throughout India. Mayank is now working to bring his toilets to more places like gas stations and transit stops. He says these installations already have about 200,000 users every day, including 60,000 school children. With the onset of COVID, we have introduced UV light sanitization in, in our toilet system. Where after... Since the pandemic, Mayank has been working on adding ultraviolet lights into his company's toilets which should help kill off lurking coronavirus between uses. There are plenty of questions about Garf and Swatch Bharat. Yes, 100 million toilets were built, but will they be maintained properly? And will people change their behaviors and want to use them? And are Garf's high-tech toilets, which can cost nearly $5,000 each, too expensive? And will it take too long to build a lot more of them out? The good news is that all this work has resulted in huge gains over the past 10 years, cutting down the number of people without access to toilets in nearly half. That's hundreds of millions of people. And Mayank is well aware of the challenges and seems unwavering in his plans, seeing a huge opportunity to help the poorest in India gain back their dignity.